Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. That's me, Glenn Martin. Father, Dennis, lover. But mostly father and Dennis. I took my family on a road trip so we can grow closer. Well, that and I burned the house down. So it's me, my wife Jackie, she's the sweetest. Oh. Our son Connor, the ladies man. His sister Courtney, we'll all be working for her one day. In fact, her assistant Wendy already is. Ooh, can't forget K9, he's got a giant heart. Wanna hear us whistle? Let's hit the road. Wow, <laughs> when you don't pick up your mail for six months, it really piles up. Mortgage bill, late notice on mortgage bill, final notice on mortgage bill. Oh, eviction notice. Yeah, good thing the house burned down. The joke's on them, eh, Pumpkin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it. Still not funny. Who ordered the lame fanny pack? Lame? This is my new butt buddy. It's so comfortable, I can't even tell it's on. I mean, is it on? I don't know. So, sup? Smee? Smee? <laughs> It's nice. We could use a kid like you. Check it out, Connor. This thing's got room for my chapstick, my mints, all my lotions. Wow, Dad, that's pretty a loser. Nasty cough you got there. Lozenge? Slater? It's not gonna happen. Hold on. That cool guy thinks you're uncool. That must mean that you're uncool. Uncool? How am I uncool? And how is there not a wet wipe in here? Ah! Ah, cheese of the month club from last February. Ah, might be time to cancel that. You know, there was a time when Connor looked at me like I was a superhero. I mean, Batman has a utility belt. That is no different from a butt buddy. It's a phase. Every kid gets embarrassed by their parents sooner or later. You know what the problem is? He only sees me as the old man, the establishment, whitey. Maybe I should get drunk with him. I mean, do you think that would help? I love you enough to ignore that. Ah, I, I just wish I could show him what I was like when I was younger. When everybody knew how cool I was. You know, like in college. Hey, it's our college homecoming this weekend. Maybe we should go. Jackie, if you could just focus on my problem and not the mail for one second. Wait, I have a great idea. Oh, I just lost it. No, wait, wait, it just came back to me. We have to go to your old college. I don't even know why you went to your old college. I went here, young lady, because my mother went here. And because I don't test well. Boy, I can't wait to see the Kappa House. Those were the happiest days of my life. Oh, uh, aside from getting married, having kids, blah, blah, blah. Yep, the old stomping grounds. I don't know if you know this, but I used to be on the football team. Really? Yep, your father was the best mascot the school ever had. Just the mascot. No, I wasn't just the mascot. I was the rootin' tootin' cowboy. You should have seen me in action. I'd ride my trusty steed named Lightning and fire my six-shooter. Oh, homecoming was the best. Oh, that's when we played our rivals, the Ragin' Red Indians. Sometimes I'd even throw a blanket labeled smallpox on them. <laughs> that was entertainment. That sounds incredibly offensive. Ah, it was just harmless fun. Just our way of honoring the noble savage man. Pretty cool, huh, Connor? I don't know, but that place looks cool. Did you ever party there? Oh, no, that's the Gamma House. They were too hardcore for us. Ha! Ah, hardcore. I had friends way more hardcore than those guys. Yeah, just wait till you meet my old crew. In fact, let's do that right now. Kappa House, I've been wanting to bring you girls here for years. Really? Well, not you, you I just met. You're going to see exactly what I was like back in the day. Which one were you, Mom? The one who smells like mothballs? Or the one who smells like dirty diapers? Hi, I have a comment and a question. First, I love the new curtains. Second, what the hell are these old people doing in my beloved sorority house? No, missus, this place been turned into a convalescent home years ago. The kappas are gone? The wish fountain? The wish wall? The wish garden? All gone? Well, you can look around if you like. Just don't go and plug in anything. Unless, of course, you're related to it. Hello. Connor. It's a What do you think, Connor? My old crew. Man, Treble. We were the second best acapella group on campus. Uh, I guess it's better than being the first best. 
Well, you have to picture us back in the day, when we were younger and thinner, and when Peter wasn't out of the closet yet. Uh, still not, Glenn. Thanks a lot. Ooh, Peter, have a business can. Thanks. Whoa, who is that? Tucker Wade. He's a big, nasty jerk who was on the football team. Just once, I'd like to meet him on my turf. Online, playing Jester's Realm. I beat him senseless with my scepter. Hey, Dad, you know the football guys, right? Can you introduce me? Um, sure, if that would impress you. Yeah. Hey, Tucker, remember me? Look, buddy, I told you on the phone the car that hit you was driven by a priest. That's an act of God, and we don't cover that. No, oh, it's your old pal Glenn Martin, remember? Glenn Martin. Oh, hey, Ben. Son, I want you to meet my good friend Tucker Wade. Tucker here played professionally. Oh, you played in the NFL? NFL Europe, sure. Doesn't get any bigger than that. Ben, how you fix for sexual harassment insurance? I've been sued six times, and I still drive an 89 Camaro. Oh, man, that's great reminiscing like this. Hey, the three of us should grab some pizza tonight. Maybe you can sell me some overpriced insurance. Damn right I can. And speaking of cans, <clears throat> secret is the steel plate in my head. Compliments my old XFL days. You're really cool. Parasol. Warning, may cause abdominal cramps and liver damage, huh? They forgot to mention confidence. I can't believe you're exposing Connor to that jerk. Don't you remember what he did to you? Look, I'm just trying to impress my son. By pretending to be someone you're not. Exactly. Let's just change the subject. How was your day? Well, you won't believe what happened to the Kappa house. The whole sorority Dad, just... Tucker's here. Gotta go. Woohoo! Everybody check! So you played arena football too? Yeah, he's a real winner. And you know what? That reflects well on me. I tell you, when you got a thousand fans packed into a converted hockey arena cheering as you catch an interception off the padded wall, well, that's what football's all about. Whoa. You know, Glenn, now that I got your non-refundable deposit check, I gotta say, I kinda don't remember you. You don't remember him? Sure he does, son. We were teammates. What? When the team was down on points, I got the crowd up on spirit. I was the Rune Tune Cowboy. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody, look it. The Fruity Tootie Cowboy. Uh, hello, Rune Tootin' Cowboy. Oh, man, I gotta show you what I used to do to this guy. Portaloons! Portaloons! Oh, yeah. This is gonna be fun! Don't be nervous, Connor. I, I'm, not, I'm not terrified at all. Good times. Does my insurance cover hepatitis? Wasn't that fun, Connor? Oh, the laughs we had, huh? But weren't they kind of laughing at you? Of course they were, but you can't have a joke without the butt of the joke. Today was me, tomorrow will be Tucker's turn. If there's a God in heaven. So you didn't mind swallowing that urinal cake? It's a little something called committing to the joke, son. See, the dog knows funny. Don't let him in the RV tonight. All right, Connor, time for bed. I'm gonna go dream of Tucker. Glenn, why are you hiding the truth? Just tell him Tucker's a jerk. Jackie, my son just watched me tumble down a hill on a toilet. I'm losing his respect. So forgive me if I have to do whatever it takes to prove I'm... <laughs> cool. You don't have to prove anything. You're his father, and he loves you no matter <laughs> what. I didn't even pull it yet. No, I think I have an infection in my urethra. Tucker is a creep. He used to climb a ladder and peep into our sorority. Is that the kind of cool behavior you want to expose your son to? Wait, I have a great idea. Oh, I just lost it. No, wait, wait, it just came back to me. Whoa, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah, can you believe your old man used to do this? Can you? Oh, no. A little more mature than those high school chicks you're used to, huh? Oh, whoa. What is wrong with you? Now I'm blue on the inside. I just don't get it. Of all the sororities to die off, why the Kappas? We were so exclusive, we never let anyone in. Oh. Well, at least the Kappas will always be in your heart. No. I've already lost one house this year. I'll be damned if I'm losing another. 
pledges of the Kappa sorority. Hail Kappa! Uh, Mom... I said Hail Kappa! Hail, Hail Kappa! Kappa! I am your new pledge master, Sister Jackie Martin. When I'm done with you, you will know how to throw themed sleepover parties, bake cookies that you dare not eat, and set funny lyrics to popular songs. Most importantly, you will be the envy of every girl on sorority row. Do you hear me? Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. I was just replacing the batteries in their hearing aids. I'll just pass them out, and you can start again. Oh, good, because I'd like another whack at that speech. <sighs> All right, go deep. <laughs> yeah, touchdown! No, 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 son. We don't catch the ball. We're defense. We knock it out of the receiver's hands. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> In your face! I tell you, there's nothing more rewarding in life than spoiling someone else's victory. You're so wise. Strong and handsome. I was skeptical, but this place is really coming together. You girls ain't seen nothing yet. Dora, cue the music. What? Cue the music! Who's a Jew? Uh, I'll do it myself. Party over for this one? Who's up for the bikini car wash? Oh, God, I'm oh. Worth it. Oh. How do I compete with a real-life CFL player? The man played for the Montreal Alouettes, for God's sake. Well, if this was Jester's realm, I'd leverage all my health points for the shiniest amulet in the room. Then I would... Now, shut up, nerd. I'm trying to think. You're not going to win Connor back playing Tucker's game. You've got to play yours. The Glenn Martin I know is funny, optimistic, full of spirit. That's the man your son needs to see. But how do I... <laughs> That's it. Please, I was at my greatest in that suit. I just need to wear it one more time. How could anyone say no? That'll be a hundred bucks. What? <sighs> Fine. It'll all be worth it when my son sees me opening a can of Manifest Destiny on that raging red Indian. Oh, you know, they haven't been the Indians for years, dude. Now their mascot's the red. Cute furry thing. Please, tell me I still get to ride my trusty Steed Lightning. Actually, he's more rusty than trusty. And at times, a little gusty. Check it out, Connor. Marshmallows. <laughs> I'm so glad I gave up the tuba. Isn't this great? We're going to a homecoming. Huh? I'm going home? No, sugar. You'll be home with Jesus soon, though. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your mascot, the Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy! Hey, who's ready for some Rootin' Tootin' fun? Dad? <laughs> Cowboy! Try this out for size. <laughs> cool, a boy's medium. Now where's my arch enemy? Oh, I smell me a stinking red. Googly bowl? You know what, so of this? <laughs> They're eating this up. Ooh, someone scared. That's my dad. But some of this. Now. 
What were you thinking? I didn't know she was a girl. I got carried away. She's the one that got carried away. On a stretcher. And I heard she's a Delta, so she's probably pregnant. They are sluts. Oh. Okay, I deserve that. Connor, give your dad a hug. Uh, I think I'm gonna go play not cats with Tucker. That was a real kick in the gut. Oh! You suck! I'm glad I didn't say nuts. That should be me out there with Connor, not someone he admires. Oh, honey, Connor's gonna forget all about him in a few days. He's a C student. He's got no long-term memory. Let's just leave this place and never, ever look back. Oh, I wish we could do that, but it's initiation night at the sorority. Tonight, the Kappas rise from the ashes. Except for Gladys. She was cremated this morning. Pledges, we will now reveal the results of the secret ballot. After which, those voted in will receive their Kappa letters. Huh? I got a letter? Nah, Shoga, forget it. Everyone you know is dead. Now remember, if you're not voted in, it doesn't mean you're not good. It just means you're not good enough. Ooh, -hoo, Patty Raid! Sweet freedom! <laughs> Let's go inside. Uh, I don't know. My dad said this place is pretty hardcore. <sighs> you know, kid, there comes a point when you have to ask yourself, do you want to grow up to be some lame dentist or an awesome dude who lives in the past and sells life insurance? I do like that tied-on sweater. Jeez, how many toilets does this place have? Dora. 22 votes. Congratulations! Oh. Grab your knees and say please! Ooh. Here, you can put this on the mantle next to Gladys. And finally, Jackie Martin. Zero votes? What? This whole thing was my idea. How could that be? Yeah, it's just the girls and I just don't think you're Kappa material. Oh, of all the snobby, elitist, Backstabbing! You girls really are campus now. I'm so proud! Give me a hug! Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Wonderful! Gauntlet! 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 Anything for acceptance! What's the gauntlet? Check it. He heads down the stairs. He grabs the rope over the burning sofa, onto the silly slide. All he's got to do now, folks, is land safely in the kiddie pool filled with loose-down pillows. Oh. You'll be fine. Rub some dirt on it. Your turn, champ. Me? Oh, hey, put me down. No, you guys. Dude, it's fun. It's not the end, Glenn Martin. You're our friend. Thanks, guys, but not even the soothing sounds of man trouble can cheer me up tonight. Got her. Dad, I think I'm in trouble. Where are you? I'm at the Gamma House, and there's this big party, and Tucker's gonna make me run the gauntlet. <gasps> the gauntlet? Oh, wow. Son, listen to me very carefully. You have to hit the pillows just right. Connor? Connor! I have to save him. That place is dangerous, Martin. Call the cops. Don't be a hero. Maybe a hero is exactly what I need to be. Guys, please! Uh, you wanna go home to your mommy and your other mommy? Three, two... <gasps> Tucker Wade, hand over the boy. You're the guy who beats up girls. That's right, honey. Fartin' Martin, you'll always be a nerd. Maybe I am a nerd, Tucker, but since college, I've also become so much more. A husband, father, DDS, and friend to the gay and lesbian community. But you're still playing cornerback, knocking down other people's dreams because in your position, you don't score any touchdowns. Really? I'm about to score an ass oh. Not if I set up the block. Freeze. Come on, son. Great shooting, Dad. Wait, Rudy Toot Cowboy. Much appreciated, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, Dad, you're really cool. I gotta say, son, you're absolutely right. 
You okay? I guess. I think I got a splinter from the railing. I've got just the thing for that. Whoa, that's just like something a superhero would have. That's right, son. Just like Batman. <laughs> that's how you ride the gauntlet! Whoa! I'm okay!